so this is how I finally figured out to get a larger image to print out split on eight and a half by 11 paper in Silhouette Design Studio. I could not get it to maintain its size in Photoshop. I already had Photoshop. I am comfortable with Photoshop, but it just wasn't working for me. So I downloaded Silhouette Studio, just the free version, and this is where I ended up. Um, you want to have your settings here. You go up to this little guy in the corner, have your settings, machine none, cutting mat none, your media size, whatever paper you're printing out on, usually the 8.5 by 11. I have the um, ET2760. Um, so it would just make all that whatever size you're printing out on. Um, and then I don't know if this is completely necessary because it took me a while to figure it out, but go to file, print page setup. Um, same thing, make sure it's eight and a half by 11, all that. I believe it should be, but never hurts to check. So then you get this square that's eight and a half by 11 on your paper. So what I ended up doing, um, and I did this in Photoshop, but like I said, I had, I made my image the size I wanted it right here, 10 inches wide. So it, I, um, the one thing is with the, with Silhouette Studio, it does not have that locked. So before you change your width or your height, lock that so it doesn't distort your image. Um, so I made it whatever size I wanted there and it put it on my um, screen just how I wanted it. And so I just kind of moved it, clicked on it, moved it uh, wherever I wanted it, uh, how do I want to split it. So I kind of split it right, um, right in here is where I split it and just went to file print. I have all my print settings set up already. If um, you need a video on that, I can find the one that I use that helped me. I'm going to go ahead and close out my page setup thing there. Um, I have it always so it print preview so I can see exactly what I'm getting. So that will be my first page. And then I'd print it obviously, but for um, and this is something I saw on another video that they do in Word. Instead of using your cursor, you use your arrow key. So then it doesn't move, you don't accidentally move the image up and down or left and right, depending on what way you're moving it, and off kilter it. Um, so when it's printed and you're lining them up and overlapping them, the sizes of your, the size of your pages are going to be equal. So that make it a lot easier to line up, especially if you have an intricate image. For time's sake, I'm just going to scooch it over so you can kind of see what's going on. So I do a little bit of overlap, so I kind of cut between the N and the I before, so I'm going to cut right about there. Again, I do the arrow, but it takes forever, and I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me do that. Um, and then file print again. And then I would, would come up. There you go, the print preview, so you can see what you're getting. And then I have a little bit of overlap. I just actually finished putting this on a shirt. So we will go ahead and pull it off and see what we ended up with. So there's the actual image on the shirt. Um, here is, you can see where I overlapped and just, I taped it top and bottom, flipped it, taped it with heat tape all the way down here. I just taped it like crazy, taped it on my shirt, put your paper in between the shirt, put your paper on top. Um, I pressed it. This is a Gideon, uh, Gideon, sorry, soft style, the 6535. I pressed it at 392 for 60 seconds and here we are. Hope that helps.